Hello and welcome. You're listening to the Replay Podcast recorded live on June 22nd, 2017. I'm your host, Joel Rinky, and joining me as always is... Mitchell Drake and Jordan Sellers. Welcome. Well, welcome. This is this is good. I like being back. <laughs> yeah. Being back in regular and, and happy to be here. Back in regular? Yeah. Maybe. No more, no more gaps for me. But you were here last bit. week. I was, but it's that was uh, after a break. Come on. <laughs> Some people might have missed last week and been wondering where I've been. Okay, okay. okay. Um, yep. Remember, if you are listening live and can't stick around for the full show, you can pick up where you left off on the following Monday on our iTunes Wooshka or YouTube page, which links to which can be found on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash replay AU. And the iTunes links on screen right now for any live viewers. Or people watching the YouTube video. Ah, yes, that too. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, coming up on the show, we'll be discussing the new Atari box, uh, Sony's, Sony's stance on cross-platform gaming, esports tournaments, Rise of the Necromancer, COD Modern Warfare Remastered. But first, what have we been playing this week? Ooh. Do you want to go? Oh, it's been a different week for me, finally. Oh, wow. Uh, I know. So Can no you Overwatch? Uh, a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> like, a little tiny bit. A little different then. Just I played like one or two competitive matches just so my SR didn't drop, but it dropped anyway because I lost. So, <laughs> 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 um, But yeah, it's been uh, Battlegrounds for me. Finally finally got that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect. Like, I hadn't looked too much into the game. So this is player on Known's Battlegrounds? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... I guess I knew my, my friend wanted it, so I got it for him for his birthday. And then oh, nice. while I was there, I got it for myself as mm-hmm. well because like, you can't have it and not have anyone to play with. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was just an excuse. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually loving it. It's really, really intense. I was playing it last night and I got to like the final 10 and I was like, okay, it's getting serious now. It's getting serious. <laughs> the circle gets smaller. Yep. I, was like, I was like number five, like the fifth person left. I was like, my heart was beating. My hands were shaking. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> I can't die. Wow. And then I just got destroyed. <laughs> oh, it feels so bad. You've, you've played quite a few rounds of it then? At this yes. Point, then? It's quite sad. Uh, when did I buy it? I bought it last week. I've already played about 13 hours. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Serious. Yeah. Yes. Wow. It's I, I want to see you become number one now. <laughs> I'm working towards it. I'll get there eventually. Jeez. One you lucky went? game. Me? One lucky game. What was your lucky game? No, no I say, that's what this. I need. Oh, one lucky okay. game. Oh, to get. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, for you, I see that it's just a game that if you get close to winning or if you win, you're like, oh, I got to have a little more. Yeah. But if you know yeah. you're going to lose into it, you're just going to hate it. Yeah. Because oh. sometimes you just, you jump out of the plane at the start and you land and you see all these people just landing directly <laughs> next to you like, I'm so screwed. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had a, I got a gun before one person. They come running around a corner like, jumped and punched me in the head then punched me again and i was dead and i was like what that's brilliant i shot you with a gun and you're still standing <laughs> so, do, do you think it's possible to survive the entire match without shooting or anything like we're just talking about sneaky, look, look we'll get to that we'll get yeah. to that. No, i just want to know it like <laughs> okay okay i no, think I it is possible yes all right I'm, I'm keen to see i'm keen to see if it is like how would you come first you'd have to rely on to him to walk around the you entire have to throw circle. a rock at him or something <laughs> no i don't think you come first but okay. you could win it purely based on stealth if you were lucky. Just get a team of four. You you have no gun the entire thing whilst the other three just go in. Yeah, they just protect you. Yeah, protect you. <laughs> <laughs> You're the president, they're the bodyguards. Yeah, yeah protect yeah. you. Yeah. That's the I'm the president mode. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. It actually sounds pretty fun. It does. It does. Yeah. <laughs> like a meta game. Mitch? Um, I've been playing uh, a bit of an assortment of games at the moment. Um, I picked up the latest humble humble Android bundle, mm-hmm. which is a massive roguelike pack. So it's seven roguelike games. Yep. And I've been playing Bit Dungeon Two out of that, which is a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, playing a bit of Payday Two, a uh, mm-hmm. bit of D Three, um, Hots. I got back into WoW again a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit, because I don't want to pay for it. Yeah. So I'm just like leveling up a low level character and, and reading all the text because that law is fascinating to me. Are you gonna pay for it? I don't know. Because I feel like if, if you, you you've had a taste of WoW, isn't that like the start of the addiction? Yeah, <laughs> but that's not how that game works. You get addicted when you talk to people, and I don't talk to people online very well. Okay. I'm really bad at that. <laughs> okay. Joel, Joel Hodgetts, I'm totally play WoW again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have I've have spoken to him quite a lot and he, he, he enjoys WoW. I know that. WoW is good. I think yeah. I think it would be one of the few RPGs you could stomach. 
Yeah, probably. And I know you, your excuse is to, you don't want to... That relies on me giving things a chance, which, you know... Yeah, you're bad at yeah. that. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> wow, it's off the table for you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's up there with the price of your triangle. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. You're not going to... Yeah. It doesn't look good enough for the price, I don't think, for yeah. you. But well, WoW fits there. The price is nil because you can what? start oh, free. Oh, you can start for free, but then yes. it's like, yeah. So the starting, it's free yeah. and it's fun? It, it's it's quite fun. Depends I, on the See, his, his definition of fun is very different. <laughs> He's not going to be like, oh, this is, this That's is a nice... That's the four in the triangle because it, it, it people a... have different meanings of what is good to them. Your, your thing like is like enjoyment. you've got the triangle of three points, like fun, graphics, yeah. and cheap. But in fun, it's like in fine print as in like what describes fun. <laughs> yeah. Jordan fun <laughs> is different to other fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Jordan fun is Top Gun. My fun is Lord of the Rings. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were talking about that before as well. Like um, with the Top Gun movie. Yes. The Top Gun 2 is coming. Yeah. Yep. You've seen Top Gun. Yes. I haven't. Oof. I think it'd be Oof. really interesting with the three of us going to go see Top Gun 2 because he's a diehard Tom Cruise fan. You were like mediocre kind of, yeah, all yeah. right. And I have yeah. no idea what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be funny for Mitch seeing as he has no context if they rely on the first film. All well, I know, I would love that. You go and we all go see Top Gun 2. And yeah. You don't watch the first. No, you I, just go straight in. I'm sure I've lasted this long not seeing Top Gun. I'm sure I can wait until then. Is, is, is it, you can't um, handle the truth from that movie? No, that's um, A Few Good Men, is which is also thing? a very, very good film. I, I watched that recently and I enjoyed the hell out of it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> which not, not even just because Tom Cruise, it's just actually a it's well-written Tom movie. Yeah, okay, Tom I'm Cruise. sure it is Tom Cruise. Go- it's Tom Cruise. <laughs> there's there's, like a, there's, there's a dis- distant fourth triangle that's like building off. It's like Tom Cruise. Yep, yep. It's not Tom Cruise. <laughs> it's an instant center. win. He's, he's <laughs> reasonably priced. He's fun and pretty. <laughs> Did you like The Mummy? I did actually. It, I, did. I heard that. a lot of conflict from oh, that movie. Like I can it, see, it bombed. I can see why people don't like it. Did yes. you go into it expecting Brendan Fraser? No, I, I went would've. into it expecting what people are saying about it. So mm. I went in expecting this horrible film. Yeah. Um, and I kind of enjoyed it. I I don't know why. I don't know why I enjoyed it. I, I just did. Okay. I, I kind of get the impression it's very similar to Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Where Although got- I didn't enjoy Suicide Squad as much as I enjoyed The Mummy. Yeah, you, but you can. The Mummy was fun. Yeah, that's. I think that's what the difference was. The Mummy was fun, whereas Suicide Squad was kind of really serious. Like they had their jokes and stuff. They had but- to reshoot to make it funny. Eh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Would you recommend to watch Suicide Squad? No. So don't don't even bother at all because no. it's on Netflix. I see it there. I'm like, I know this movie did bad. Should I watch it to see how bad it was? <laughs> I, I spoke to Tia's dad uh, when I saw him the other day. Yeah. And he said he saw it and asked if I'd seen it. And I'm like, no, I, I, I had seen it and I didn't like it. He's like, really? I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I'm like, okay. <laughs> this is a guy that watch, watches Sharknado and really enjoys it. Actually, i gotta, I got to say this is a side note. Um, yeah. Rolling Stone rated the new Transformers film. Oh, no. Zero stars. <laughs> What? Okay, yes. we have to see this film at some ha- at some point. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth going to cinemas for. But oh God, no! God, no! Yeah, no, I, no, I no. saw that article today. I was like, oh my God, that is. This would be one of the few films that I would encourage people to pirate so that they don't make a fifth one. <laughs> no, it's it's coming. Oh wait, yeah. sixth, wouldn't it? Isn't this the fifth one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot. There's, There's too a lot. Many. Too many. I only like the first one. I think with Shia LaBeouf. I've seen a lot of memes Shia pop LaBeouf. up um, with the FBI scene. The FBI, you know, scene. the guy sitting in the thing, and all the all the government comes in to steal his computer. And, oh right, yeah. yeah. Oh, now you're making me want to watch the movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, Joel, what have you been playing? <laughs> yes, well, yes, this is the movie podcast. Guys. Yes, yes. Um, I haven't actually been playing all too much, to be honest. It has been quite literally like the base things for every single time. It's been League of Legends. It's been Heroes of the Storm, Payday 2, and that's pretty much been it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like on the crates where I'm like, I want a new game. Yeah. Even though I have so many games that I haven't played you all too much yet, I just want a new game. See, this is why you're, you're itching for those the sales coming tomorrow. Yes, the sale. Well, tonight, tomorrow. I don't know when it I starts. I think it's going to be tomorrow. Okay, it'll probably be tomorrow. I'm, mm-hmm. I... Even if it's a game that I probably won't play, but it's a reasonably good price, I'd probably still get it. So you, you, <laughs> um, 
you're kind of a proponent of the one dollar per hour kind of idea, aren't you? As well, uh, more or less, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'd say that. <laughs> so if you could buy something that was four dollars instead of twenty, you'd be okay of, with spending. Of like, course, yeah, of course. Okay. Like it's a, it's a game that I see like uh, that I like I watch people play and stuff, and I think you know that's a good game. Mm. I might give it a go and I'd buy it and I'd probably download it and probably play probably thirty minutes. I'd be like, no, nah, no, nah. <laughs> it was cheap, but no. Nah. You know what? I've actually been playing. Um, I picked up. Well, I, I picked it up ages ago. I think I mentioned it on the show as well. Um, mm. Brothers, Tale of Two Sons. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I started playing that and as an, in an effort to try and get my girlfriend into gaming, <gasps> I started playing with her. So we did this cute thing where I'll hold one end of the control and she would hold the other. Because yeah, if you played that game, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. you guys are disgusting. The twin stick <laughs> thing. <laughs> no, but it actually made the game so much easier. Yeah, because it's can't... a co-op game with yourself normally. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, oh, this is so much better. But... um. <laughs> How'd it go? How'd it go? It went well. It went she well. enjoyed it? We got pretty far until um, her character glitched and he got stuck and he couldn't move. So I was like, ah, oh, that's enough for today. <laughs> well, better burn this Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> so have you, tri- have you tried that much before? Have you tried... What have you done to try and get your girlfriend into gaming other than that? Not much, really. Like, she's, she's, a, she's a tough critic. What she's does she a- think of Overwatch? Oh, she just rolls her eyes when I talk mm. about Overwatch. Um, she does enjoy, like, Mario Kart and stuff, though, which yep. is... Like, I think that's pretty good for casual that's... gamers. Like, pretty standard people who yeah. don't game play Mario Kart usually. But you don't throw someone who has a casual straight into, like, Dark Souls or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. It's not going to end well. I threw Tia straight into um, Forza Horizon 3. Oh, really? Like, straight into the opening of that. Um, yeah. She spent hours and hours on um, on Minecraft when it first came out. Wow. Like, <laughs> she, she has actively avoided that game because of how long she spent on it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, I've tried to play Minecraft. I just don't... on PC. Yeah, right. Just start up a server. Yeah. Well, we had uh, we had a tech it server. Okay. And I was running off because I used to have a desktop, and, I, and then it it was bad, so I just ran it as a as a um, Linux based server, and mm-hmm. all it would do would run a, a tech it twenty four seven, and then the roommates at the time would all jump in on that. And oh, that's really cool. Yeah. It was... I'm I'm down for creating a server. If we start one. Oh, I... The thing I I love Minecraft. It's just so fun to me. But the problem is I don't really like creating a world to myself that it's just like an accomplishment to me mm. i'd like to build it with friends yeah, or people not, around it's not good alone mm. see this is interesting because this leads into one of the points we want to talk about today which is the cross-platform stuff that's coming yes up. yes because uh one of the big things that came out at e3 and yes i realized i skipped one of our segments oh no no that's okay. right i don't <laughs> care whatever, whatever segues whatever segues <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah take the segues that work <laughs> yeah. and we've just ruined the illusion no, 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 of the segues not, no, no. <laughs> what what segue what <laughs> um, so um <laughs> As we know, with E3 last week, um, mm. Minecraft was one of the two games, I think, that had cross-play announced. Yeah, yes, it, it Minecraft. had its own main big segment. It's like you, you threw you into Minecraft and it showed you the different things it would be cross-playing on. Yeah. Which it saw everything Minecraft, so uh, Microsoft and everything. It saw the Switch as well. As so well. It's, it's the Nintendo Switch, the PC, the Xbox, the iPhone and Android devices. Mm. Which is amazing. Nice. And iPhone is included in this. Yes. Right. Yes, because yeah. you could already cross-play with iPhone and Xbox. Oh, really? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell how much Minecraft I play. See, this is this is something because I would actually be all for starting a server. Yeah, it'd be lots of fun. Because with that cross-play, like we'd all be fine. Yeah, like Except even though if we owned a PlayStation Four. <laughs> <laughs> but even then, saying that you don't need high specs for a PC to play Minecraft usually. Uh, I don't know anymore. Oh, uh, has it, have they increased it? It, it depends on like how much you really want to go into the graphics side of yeah, things. Yeah, because it, like cause you, you can reduce a lot of graphics of it, but it depends bricks. on like your. <laughs> but it's it say like it depends on your draw distance and how much of the world you want to load. Yeah. And there's okay. a lot so of- like you can go like a few feet ahead of you, ahead of you, and it'll slowly load. Yeah, or you yeah. can see massive distances. And then there's lighting and rendering effects and yes. other things like that that you got to consider. And it's actually quite a, a graphics heavy game for something that looks so bad. Right. You like can make it look good as well. Yeah. But that's when your graphics card and stuff needs to actually be really good and bulky. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and just a fact check as well. Sorry, my own mental checking. Uh, Windows 10 version of Minecraft, not Java version. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Which you get for free if you previously owned the Java. Oh, so you oh, have okay. to... Yeah, that's fine then. Yeah. So you have to get it through the Microsoft Store. No, because... Um, because of how Microsoft bought Mojang, which was the company that made yeah. Minecraft... Um, they made an optimized version for Windows 10. Okay. And that's the version that has the cross-play with it. All right. So, yep. yeah. 
The other yeah. version is updated with like beta. It's it's like the difference between a PTR and yep. main game. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Cool. Yeah. So also as well as Minecraft, there will also be Rocket League. See, I'm going. really excited for this. I think Rocket League's a pretty cool like concept. I haven't, still haven't yet to play it. I Nor played have I. It once in like a store somewhere because it was sitting there on display. Mm-hmm. But, you haven't uh, played it. I've never played Rocket oh, League. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I played that. I played that when it was free on PlayStation. It was free on PlayStation. It was one of the free. Um, like the monthly thing come on microsoft and we got it for free and i was just like yeah this is a great game i love yeah. it it's like I, a 20 dollar game isn't it yeah yeah see I, this well. would be one of the games i'd love to grab on the switch i can yeah i can yeah. see that being a good game for switch i think that's a good a handheld move. yeah because it not only could it be handheld but it's be one of those games because all it is is forward back jump and drive right yeah, and rocket boost of some kind yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so theoretically a joy con could do it yeah so that would be one of those easy two-player, hand it over. Well, is it even split screen? Is split screen capable in Rocket League? I uh, not that I can remember actually. When I first got it, no, I don't think it was split screen. It seems like something they would implement in Nintendo, though. Mm. From what I played, it was pretty much like a online-based only type of thing, mm. with maybe like some challenges if you want to do training. Okay. But it, it was just pretty much a three v three or one v one online mm-hmm. style of game. So I, I'm eager to see. It, it, it brings to the whole uh, console versus PC thing. Mm. Yeah. To see who is better at this point. See, this is, again, it's it's not including think- PlayStation in that. Mm. I know. See. So even if, it, I know you own it, even if we got it on whatever we wanted, we couldn't mm. play with you. I know. I know. I'm so disappointed. PlayStation's let me, letting me down. <laughs> PlayStation. <laughs> Which brings me to the whole thing. I was like, man, I should have got an Xbox, to be honest. Still can. <laughs> you should have got them in the I know. See, like there's, I there's pros and cons to every console. Yes. True. Like, Xbox has no JRPGs, which is depressing me immensely. <laughs> <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. See? Yeah, yeah. Crash Sessions. Bandicoot. Spider Man. Spider Man, exactly. I don't have to whinge about this stuff anymore because I've. Oh, you'll still whinge about it. <laughs> I'll be playing uh, Spider Man and you'll be like, mm-hmm. oh, I got a. You know, you know, my... I've got a PS4 set up in my room now, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. but yours is like yeah, a bit iffy, to be honest. Have you fixed it? Like, has it? It hasn't done it at all because the issue is the eject button is really sensitive that any source of heat under that part of the console yeah. just <laughs> triggers it. Mm-hmm. And where I've got it, it's overhanging. Oh, so yes, it's perfectly fine. Yes, yep, and it's not an issue. I at can't all. wait to see what happens in summer. Oh, yeah, that might be a bit interesting. But, <laughs> that um, is kind of how I had mine set up when it was but doing even its then, issue. Even then, I've got the tools necessary to crack her open mm-hmm. and uh, completely disable the eject button if I have to. <laughs> okay. Because yes. the, the issue with mine, with I tried looking up that issue as well, Yeah, where there's a rubber part that's connected to where the um, the eject button is, yeah. where you can slide out and yeah, remove the bottom part. Well. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. So mine is, was kind of like that as well, where I had two books underneath it, just so it was yeah. kind of hanging up. Yeah. Nothing would touch the eject button. <laughs> it still happens, no yes. matter what you do. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm yeah. still yet to experience it. Oh, okay. You can get it, yourself yeah, it, uh, the PS4 Pro when when it dies, like everyone else seems to be doing. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it seems to be. I reckon mm-hmm. it was purposely done by Sony. I wouldn't be surprised. You reckon? Purposely no, done. Not many people can bother to go through the refund process yeah. or the And now your first gen Xbox ones I think are gonna start failing now that Oh S really? And X yeah. 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 <laughs> Just flick it, flip the switch. It's like yeah. yeah they're gonna start dying now guys. Well that's started to happen with the um, Just in this next patch. <laughs> oh <laughs> it happened a uh, suspiciously large amount between the three sixty when it was like Elite Pro and Classic or Arcade or whatever they had to just the slimline black ones. Yep. Like the older models started to die at an alarming rate. My, my really? one's still kicking. It Yours? makes a lot of funny noises, but it still <laughs> still works. Funny noises. And the the whole eject the the cover for the eject um, button yeah. doesn't is off. Like it's not there. <laughs> Cause it snapped off or something. So and the and the tray gets stuck. Yeah. So I have to like I used punch to have to do the top, that mine. Punch the top of my to, console so is, to shake it loose and it comes it out. It is failing then. <laughs> yeah. It is, but you it still it's still works. It's still kicking short, but it's failing. It's, it's still mechanically works. breaking, yeah. yeah. But, you know, operations-wise, it's fine. So, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, just to uh, explain Sony's point of view on the cross-platform situation, John. Oh, let me this, hear it. This might... Uh, I don't know if it makes you feel a little bit better or just annoys you. This is their excuse anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They have an excuse. Um, excuse. excuse, yeah. <laughs> wow. So the PlayStation Global and sales marketing lead, uh, Jim Ryan. 
This is his name. This is his Jim explanation. Ryan. He said, we've got to be mindful of our responsibility to our install base. Minecraft, the, dem- the, ge- the demographic playing that, you know, as well as I do, it's all ages, but it's also very young. Mm. We have a contract with the people who go online with us that we look after them and they are within the PlayStation curated universe. See, I kind of agree with this because I know that Xbox players <laughs> are just a bit rough. Yes. Oh. In the nicest possible way. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree. exposing what in many cases are children to external influences we have no ability to manage or look after. It's you, something we have to think about very carefully. Do you think something with like Minecraft specifically, because it's owned by Microsoft, it's a Microsoft owned platform, that that could be what's causing that rift as well, like influencing it in a, in a bit of a way? So, like, they don't have the rights to actually really do a cross platform? Yeah, like they have the rights to do it, but they don't want to have to. They want to see if they can make it so Minecraft, like, yes, Microsoft in in their own right has the ability to force them to do it. Mm. But do you think they're kind of testing to see what they can get away with? Um, I'm not sure. To to me, it's like they've given this example of Minecraft. Yeah. But it's not just Minecraft that the real whole cross-platform thing does. So far, it's just Minecraft and Rocket League. Sure. Mm. Uh but you can do so on Gears of War 4, I think, as well. What influences can you get from Rocket League? At, at best, you, like at best, someone's probably going to type something. That's it. But even yeah. then, on console, you have only a set thing you can say on the direction pads. Oh, really? So it's like an Overwatch kind of deal. You, you can't type anything mm. uh, unless I'm assuming if you're on keyboard, you probably could. Yeah. But you, you're only set to say as like "good job, well done" or yeah. uh, "nice think, shot, unlucky." How would messaging go in terms of you know if I'm on Xbox and I get annoyed at someone and I side. It's a good idea to send them a message about how they played the last game of Overwatch. Mm-hmm. Well, like a personal think, message. Yeah. Do you think they could send across platform, or do you think that would be a feature that's blocked? I don't think that would happen. I no. think it would be server based. I would be interested to see how friends would work. Mm. Mm. I think it would most likely be see, a what random I'm, what matchmaking. I'm feeling here is the. F- I'm not. I'm not sure about Switch, but PC and Xbox are very closely linked. Yes. Because if I'm online on PC, most people can see it on Xbox that I'm online playing something on and that's how i can tell which version of over overwatch you're playing yeah it'll it just, just says, say overwatch if you're on pc or oh, overwatch yeah. uh collector's edition or just origins edition origins edition yeah mm. yeah <laughs> which it, it like it strikes me up to say that because like, again minecraft's the example why are they doing this whole cross-platform thing and denying the whole thing with every other console it it, it could be it could be tied to realms it could be tied to the whole, again, uh, Microsoft owns pretty much PC mm. and Xbox, but not Switch. So the, what's, the Switch is interesting The Switch me. is the surprising part, it I is. think. Yeah. I think so, Nintendo's realizing they need to play ball. They're deciding. He's, they're, EA Literally. is pretty much picking yeah. which side to play, <laughs> yeah. more or less. So this leaves Sony in the dust, everything. It, it, Sony to me is now the outcast of it all. Yeah, Sony is the new Nintendo. I saw Nintendo as like the outcast from the <laughs> team, but now EA actually has their console. They have good games coming, and now they've mm. picked Microsoft aside. Where does it leave Sony, and what do they do? I think Sony's just be, going to become a, a either it's going to have to conform with this with certain games, specifically the esports kind of games like mm. um, uh, Rocket League. Yep. Uh, I wouldn't say Minecraft, but Minecraft's more of a social thing. Mm. So stuff like that, I'm not. I'm. I won't expect to see like a Call of Duty cross multiplayer. No, just because it's so different. You you across, might see cross console multiplayer, but, but then they no do way cross PC. Yeah. Even then, that's a big step. Console cross console thing. Yeah. It's the whole feud. It's the whole two sides. Xbox and uh, PlayStation. I still think Xbox would be more at advantage of someone playing on a Switch. If it was first person shooter or something. Yes. Um, unless the Switch person had the actual See, when pro you, controller. Yeah, when you think of Switch, how do you view it being played? I view it someone holding like a tablet, the tablet mode with okay. the Joy Cons I side. also see tablet mode. Yeah. See, I never think of it like that because I don't think I'd ever do that. I think I'd just have it in the dock and have the little things out. Like the pro controller yeah. or something? Yeah. No, or the, or the, the cradle that they have. Yeah. That's mm. how I would use it. When I played it, it was very comfortable just to have the Joy Cons free. Yeah. And just however you like. Mm. Like just sitting, it looks like you're just sitting there by yourself, but your hands are like twiddling away, controlling the thing. And that'd be great. I yeah. think that'd be great. It's very relaxing. Very relaxing. So, uh, so yeah, it's interesting. Uh, Eurogamer in this interview with uh, Jim Ryan yeah. uh, pointed out that even Nintendo are okay with this. He's like, 
yeah, that's true. And he's like, everybody has to take their own decisions. We'll do that. Like I say, we have no philosophical stance against crossplay at all. So he's saying they're not against it, but then you know it's probably just the higher ups because Sony yeah. Sony's one of the few ones like my, um, Microsoft's a software and hardware company. Yeah, Sony is software and hardware, but they're not in the computing market. Mm. They're in the appliances and other mm. stuff like that. So their yeah. higher ups would have very different philosophies to the higher ups at Nintendo. Yeah, or the higher ups at Microsoft. Okay, who are about yeah. user experience, where Sony is about pushing product. Yeah. I can't I think it'll just make love and just, you know... Make love. <laughs> like, get over it. Like, yeah. like sure, the two sides, just get over it. Just make friends. And I, I guess... But you always got to be business-minded and stuff because... Sony's a lot of what falling Sony's, behind. I know, but a lot of what Sony is doing is relying on people buying their consoles for the amount of exclusives they have that are purely single-player. Well, that's what Nintendo does. That's what Microsoft does. That's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but Sony really pushes that. Yeah, I, th- I feel like that's where Sony comes out on top every time. Is their single-player gameplay. Yeah, their yeah. single-player exclusive story-driven <laughs> games. Sure. Like but- Last of Us, Days Gone, Spider-Man. They're, they're good and stuff, but I'm thinking all thanks to this E3 moments, I think Sony is just going to lose from this point on unless they do something. Because it- you've got the cross-platform. You've got the backwards compatibility, which is not only for 360 games, but for Xbox original, original games. Yeah. Mm. Like, holy damn. <laughs> that's so far back. And that's a lot of games that you can yeah. now play. And then you've got a new console as well, which just beefs the whole hardware of what you can do. Mm. Which sure, PlayStation had a PS4 Pro, which is can do 4K and upscale to 1080p. Yeah. But we don't have anything like the whole cross-platform old generation games. No. That no. I want. The closest you've got is like, being able to buy the old games again. They, they give you... Old, there's like old games on the store. Yeah. And there's like a um, like a retro style buying collection you can have. Yeah. But even then, that's nothing compared to what Xbox is doing. Wow. And I'm so upset. That's quite sad. <laughs> it, it actually feels for the first time in a long time since like um, Nintendo 64 era that we're in a proper console wars. Yeah. I for can the see longest that. time, from, from essentially the Wii... Um, it's just been Xbox versus Microsoft. Mm-hmm. And I love that this console wars is going on and then... Xbox versus Microsoft? No, this console wars of the Microsoft, uh, Sony and um, Nintendo, Nintendo is going on. But underneath it all, we're starting to see this like retro console wars come back into yeah. fruition. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. the NES Mini and the new... Um, you know, remember the, the Sega Mini that yeah, I bought? Yeah, the yeah, Sega. The Genesis Mini? Yeah, that they're was another re- big one last year. They're remaking that. Again, again, with I think it's ninety games, and they're removing the RF controllers. They're going to be proper Bluetooth. Oh, so okay. you don't have to be pointing at the console. Oh god! <laughs> now I'm really disappointed. But also, we have some. Jordan discovered the Atari box. Yes. What the, the What the hell is this? <laughs> well, we don't really know. That's the point. They just Atari came out and said. We're back in the hardware game. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and yeah, so it's been dubbed the Atari Box. You go to the website now, it's just www.ataribox.com and it's literally just the YouTube video um, of them kind of showing off what it might look like. Oh. What, just a console type of thing? It's going it to be just wooden, shows off, isn't it? Yeah, it's wooden. Uh. It's got a wooden finish anyway. So, I, um, But yeah, so there's a lot of speculation going on here. Like, what is this? What will it do? Uh yeah, it looks very classic. I've got a feeling it's going to be um, just Atari bringing back their old games no, again. No, they wouldn't do that because their old games were terrible. What, really? they had, like, all games. Like, all games on Atari. Space Invaders. Space Pac-Man. Invaders. Have you seen Pac-Man on Atari? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, what you're describing is arcade cabinets. Yeah. I'm so going to y- show you... I'm sorry. This is this is the, the visual <laughs> side of our audio podcast. <laughs> But Jordan needs to understand the pain that is Atari Pac-Man. You ready for this? Oh, okay. Okay. So, Mitch. That looks, that still looks like Pac-Man, though. Does it? <laughs> does it? Where's Pac-Man himself? He's is there. It? Okay. Oh, You're... he does not look... Okay. That's still Pac-Man. It just doesn't look very nice, but it... Well, look at the ghost. <laughs> look at the ghost just jumping around. <laughs> Look at that, everyone. Look at the ghost yes, jump around. Yes, yes. Look at so that. So just look up for Pac-Man. Look up Pac-Man for the Atari 2600 while you're listening to this podcast and, just, <laughs> and you'll know what we're talking about. But yeah, no, they're not going to be doing that. This is going to be something new. You think? Yeah. Well, I he think- did say um, it is based on PC technology. Yeah, but so is everything. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's but like, like, my, like my game console runs with computers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting to see the one of the forerunners of... 
of video games coming back. Does this mean we're going to get a new Sega console? Oh. Why is everything coming back? They're recreating like the NES because, stuff. That's what I mean. So is it's... it because NES did so well? That's yes. what I th- that they thought, you know what, I we'll would bring say, everything yeah. else back. Yeah, but you saw the demand for that thing. That was insane. Um, I do know that Atari filed for bankruptcy in 2013. Yes, because they're yes. terrible and bad at making games. Yes, but they got bought out by... I'm not sure how to say his name. <laughs> no, I saw this and I'm waiting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. um, Chesney? Am I close? No cigar? No? Chesneyaz. Chesneyaz. Okay. You missed like eight letters. Yeah, well, I assume... I, when I <laughs> see words like this, I assume like half of it is silence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Ches. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Chesy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Said in an Fred Chesy. Fred Chesy, the CEO of Atari. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, it just got noted here that they've also been licensing their brands in more extensive fashions, like including the upcoming Blade Runner mm. that's coming out um, in October. I yeah. Think. yeah, I think I have a feeling that's what sparked it. To be honest, okay, like NES is what brought the ideas and like okay, classic consoles and classic game, classic games is what people want. Yeah, but in Blade Runner, the trailer, we saw the massive Atari logo. Yeah. What was that all about? See, I think Atari's going to start looking at some new things. What have Atari been doing between like, now look, and I'm when they stopped this. making games, though? They've been publishing games. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. um... Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> so just, More visual just aids. Go, yes. No, no, no. Just to go back onto this trailer, For you, can see, you can actually see some stuff as they pan past. So that's four controller ports. Okay. Ports, so ports, as in physically plugged in cords. As in physically plugged in cords, and they are square. So that looks like USB ports. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, I'd say uh, they would be, because the old Atari, yeah. No. So you think they're going to bring out a whole new console? Do you made, think they're going to be a Atari. high-end console? Or like a mid-range Switch console? No, I think they're going to be... Do you think it's going to be classic games? No. Because I think it does. I think it's going to be a mix. I think, why would they put USB ports so whoever can plug in USB controllers and play games? Yeah, but Atari's games. always been like that. Like, with the, with the old Atari consoles, you can use Genesis controls on it. Yeah. Like, completely different companies. Okay, does but, that mean I could plug in my wireless Xbox dongle and play with my Xbox One I control? would say you'd probably just be able to connect your Xbox controller via Bluetooth. I mm. would say that's the kind of thing they're looking for. Uh, just to give you an idea of some of the um, series that Atari has made, mm. this is going to be interesting to you. Dragon Ball Z Budokai, Budokai Tenshi, the legacy of Goku and Supersonic Warriors. Okay. The Driver series, the Roller Coaster Ooh. Tycoon series, the Unreal series, Deer Hunter, um, and Alone in the Dark. Okay, the there dark. are some interesting yeah. titles there. So but- they've got all of the Unreal series. A bunch yeah, so of Dragon Ball Z Alone games. in the Dark is a pretty well known one. It's a, I don't yet. Yeah, so no? if, if they're not I've putting... I've heard of it. Okay. You've heard of it. Yeah. They're not putting classic Atari games on there. What are they going to put for this? They're going to make new games? Or they're if gonna it's ma- based on PC, we've got to think about the stuff they've done on PC. So they're, they're, they're limiting to what they've done. Is that Never it? Winter Nights. The first of the MMOs. EVE Online. What's the whole point of this? Why would you buy an Atari because... box when you can just get a PC or another console that's, that's not the, the whole point. thing that, 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 because they're not selling to you they're selling to people that had ataris 35 40 years ago which that means it would be atari games yes. for people who played atari back then i think it's just going to be both i think it's going to be a mix of the two i think you're going to see some old style games or like a reimaginings no no i think it's going to be based purely just like the nes yeah where it's upscaled looks better and plays better just on a new atari box either way I think I'm going to pick one of these up. Really? Yeah. You, you just, it that you just early. bagged out no, Pac-Man no, no. and Tetris said, and stuff. I said it looked bad. Yes, and you would still pick it up. And I'd say that the um, the idea of a revamping of this kind of retro game is meaningless. Mm. Because... Well, they already have released things like Atari Flashback, like mini yeah, plug and play devices. On like, these, are, this is, would essentially be a plug and play device. Mm. They could just do that because the entire. Atari library is probably less than like 50 megabytes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they wouldn't be announcing a trailer, putting a secret little um, website up here. Just going to have the source code while we're talking about our next topic. But yeah. <laughs> I think they're going to probably release it sometime with Blade Runner, to be honest. 
See, that would be cool. They released the if, info. I don't think they released the console. Because like, look, because oh. because hmm, the, the Atari logo was in Blade Runner. There has to be some kind of I don't know promotion of some kind. <laughs> what if this is just a, this is not even a new console. This is just just for Blade Runner. This is stunt. just a Blade Runner publicity pub- stunt for Blade Runner. Yeah, but how? Like, not many people link Atari and Blade Runner together. I didn't know until I researched this. Well, if you saw the trailer, you'd be like, if anyone who saw the trailer and were fans of the original Blade Runner, I'm assuming. Fans of the original Blade Runner were fans with Atari, or like in that same era. Oh, okay. yeah, definitely. Yeah. So definitely. if you had seen that, like as soon as you saw the trailer and you saw that, you're like, wait a minute, is that Atari? <laughs> I'm so, with you, actually. I think this is some kind of publici- pl- publicity. publicity yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. Stunt. Just, wow. Okay. Just to get to like, okay, Atari? Mm. So what but else if, is it, if, it, if it was a real thing, you're saying you think it's going to be a brand new console? I think it's going to be. It's not going to be like a 2600 or like a Jaguar or something weird like that. I think we're yeah. going to see something that's that's a bit different. Okay. No. So, do you think game. this is something to compete with things like Xbox and PlayStation? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's something to compete with the the high-end plug-and-play with like the NES minis. But I think it's going to be different. Okay. I think it's going to be, remember Atari is something you can pick up for 150 bucks and is a decent console. Or, this is something I, none of us have even mentioned, it could be a handheld. A handheld? They showed us a box with four, what DS you, you a, described as four they USB They look like USB bo- ports, yeah, but that's still a possibility. It could be a handheld. It could, Think of it like a handheld or like a, a little laptop-y kind of <laughs> dual screen. Um, it's just a computer, that's it. It's yeah, just it's a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Could be based on Raspberry Pi technology. Yeah. That's probably all yeah. it is. Just a little Just emulator a... box. Yeah. 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 No, that's all the um, NES Mini was. Mm. <laughs> that's what I mean. If you're going, what you're saying is it's going to be something to compete against the NES times. Yeah. What could they do to make it better? That's the thing. Because if they release just an Atari online thing, multiplayer. What? Online. <laughs> I can see those four <laughs> ports being a local multiplayer. Yeah. But I don't think they'll break it. I don't even know if the Atari. How would that even make that online? They'd have to make, create a new whole system of code and everything. Yeah. If they're really going to go that deep, that sounds nice. See, but there was clearly four ports on that. And there, I don't even know if there was a four port Atari. Well, were there four player games for Atari? I am uh, just looking it up and it doesn't seem that there was. It could also be the Atari arcade cabinet series. Which is which is like all of the arcade games that uh, Jordan mentioned at the start, like War Tetris and, and Pac Man. Te- Tetris was no. He said Pong. Tetris at the start. Pong was one of them. Pong, I know that Pong wasn't an arcade game. It was an Atari game. <laughs> no, it was an Intellivision game. It was by itself, like this Super Pong IV. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Cool. I enjoy that. I enjoy Jordan's technical. It's like it was technically. Atari. <laughs> so I'm behind the right. Actually, no, this does say vintage Atari Super Pong, so Jordan is right. <laughs> Jordan was right? Oh. I know. It's, yes. it's rare that Jordan is more uh, well-versed than me at retro games. But this is a deep Odin. hole that we could probably spend hours yelling at each other about. Yeah. Um, it's not going to go well. That's no, what I'm it's saying. not. You agree with me? It's not going to go well? I, I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to be one You're of the few. You're going to buy it? I, I, look, I'm a retro game collector. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> what do you expect of me? But don't you have of course a pie? I'm going to buy it. Don't you have a pie? Yeah. But Which that's... means you can play it already? I don't know where I put it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I lost it in you the move. Oh, oh, no. It's in a box somewhere. Oh, boy. I haven't, oh. I haven't got it out in a while. So you've lost the pie, now you have to buy an yeah. Atari box. Yep. Yeah. That's how it works. I can just buy a new pie. But... <laughs> <laughs> I've got an Xbox. That's fine. Got Mega Man on it. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right, Mitch. Dear. So you got some uh, esports news you want to yeah. discuss with Let's us? Yeah. See, or? I was. We probably should have transitioned from the last discussion we were having because that would have been a much smoother transition. Oh. But that's what worked. Um, <laughs> so television networks have been gaining interest in esports for the past couple of years, mm. and this week NBC in the states has become the latest network to jump onto the trend. Um, it's been announced that it'll broadcast a Rocket League tournament, marking the first time that Rocket League has been televised. Wow! Wow! So this is pretty interesting when you that bring is, up. This is huge, I think. This, this is, is different. Huge. This is different. This isn't like ESL where they're like, "Oh, let's let's sell a bunch of tickets to a live sports event." This is like, this is on NBC Sports. Yeah. This is like, but anyway, um, the grand finals will be the only ones televised, so they're not televising the series. Yeah. They're just going to see how the grand finals go. 
Um, it'll be from August 27th to 28th for us, and it will broadcast on NBC SN, the network's TV channel in the States, and the Sci-Fi Channel in the UK, <laughs> Germany, Australia, and Latin America. That's great. That means I can watch this. Yeah, you can watch the Sci-Fi Channel broadcast yeah. of the Rocket League tournament. Yes. <laughs> Are That's, you going to? Uh, if I remember, I will. This August is a, 26th. This is cool. a big step. Because this is saying this that... This is either going to decide how the rest of esports can possibly go. But even we- then, like esports is now being shown on TV. Yes. On a sports channel. I, I yeah. So they're now, they're now seeing that esports is now a sport. What do you think of the game choice? What, Rocket, Rocket yeah. League? Yeah. Um, like, I don't see... Cause I know Rocket League is a big tournament thing, but it's not as big as what other esports tournaments are. Mm. I, but, I understand Rocket League. I can see did, from their point of view why they went with it. That's that's why. As in, like, if you tune in and you see this, this is a, because uh, if a simple you were, racing into golf yeah. thing. Because it's, it's got racing, like, cars, and you've got a soccer team type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Just push the ball into the goal, score a point, there you go. Yeah. It's pretty easy it's to easy. grasp as a spectator. If you yeah. are watching, like, League of Legends or Dota or, like, oh, some kind of shooter, Even me, you have that reaction. Yeah. You look at it and you're like, oh, God, what is this? Yeah. So, Rocket League is that kind of fun twist on esports, I think. It's yeah, like, it's it's like it an takes existing elements sport. from yeah, it takes elements from real life sports and mm. makes them ridiculous. Yeah, 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 and so people can understand that a lot easier. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I'm that's how I think it's going to go. Mm. It's a simple nature of a game, which will grasp um, new viewers of what esports is. I suppose. Yeah. Whilst I want to see the whole, if there's any kind of backlash e-sports. from this. This will be interesting. I think it's I think it's fascinating. That's on the Sci Fi Channel. Yeah, like that's really interesting to me. Because Sci Fi just seems. Out of place. It's like when they put alien we think histories the right on the history channel. Yeah, S S Y F Y. Okay, because yeah, it just yeah. looked different to me. It's like S Y F Y. That's like... that's a rebranding because sci-fi is now like a really bad term in the science fiction community. Is it really? Mm, what because, for? Because of this, people like. And this is me going into my degree a little bit. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Um, people who write science fiction refer to it as S F, not sci-fi. Okay. Because of the bad connotations that the words sci-fi have with. Like, um, paid television, like cable and stuff like that. Yep, yep, yep. I think it's really interesting. <laughs> um, so, according to Rob Zimeljeka, senior vice president of NBC Sports, the network decided to make Rocket League its first foray into esports because it believed that the game is already close enough to sports <laughs> to make it easy and entertaining for NBC Sports' current audience. Okay, so you... so that's just confirmed that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. Psionics head of esports, Josh Watson, who the the developments, the Psyonix is the developers of the game, also said that the game's low barrier of entry makes it a good fit for the network. So you could probably see around the time of this airing, we could see some specials on Rocket League. Cool, because uh, I've been waiting to get one, but um, I still want to play that game a lot, but I, yeah, I just can't justify the price. Is it your type of game? What's the price? 20 bucks. Yeah, it's not, it's not a lot. Okay, but... I'll, I'll check what it is right now, if you like. Oh. <laughs> I suppose, look... look the, Let's the, play How Cheap Is Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> look, that it, it has a lot of uh, things going for Rocket League. Mm. Like, even... Because I, I got it for free when it was pretty much just a base game. There was yeah. nothing on it. Do you yeah. have it on PC as well, or just on... Just, uh, just PlayStation. Just PlayStation. I but, do know you can get a Back to the Future pack in... There are a lot of cars yeah. that you can. There are a lot of references to movies, games, yeah. and all that stuff. Then you've got different maps and different game modes as well. Yeah, I think there's a basketball one that's styled in yeah, there. Yeah, I think I've seen that. But that looks that looks like fun. That's what I mean, I think it's right up your alley with that type of game. Yeah, yeah. So, um, if if this does go on sale, I might get this as well. Oh, PC. yeah. Yeah. Will your PC run that? <sighs> Probably. It doesn't look like an <laughs> intensive game. I don't think. I I thought it did look pretty nice. Oh, the looks... minimum specs aren't that bad. Okay. That's all right. You can run on Windows 7. Oh, yeah. That's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, I do I do want to pick up Rocket League and give that a go. But I'll be in, I'm really interested to see how this broadcast goes, what kind of production value it has. Yeah, because we've been picking apart a lot of production values. Yeah. It, just, it comes yeah. with the course and the degree that we're doing. It's like you really look at everything, every fine detail. You're like, I was doing that better. with the state of origin. I was, I was appalled. <laughs> like, hey, sorry, just to confirm something. Um, yes, it is twenty dollars, but it does have split screen. Oh, okay, it does. And it already advertises cross-platform multiplayer, which I presume on Steam just means between Mac and Windows. Yeah. Probably. So even if your PC can't run this, you can get this on your Xbox and I yeah. can play with you. Yeah. Yeah. See. Oh. 
I'd probably play on PC with a controller anyway, because I imagine it would be easier. It does say full controller support. Yeah. 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 And trading cards. Sorry. Tra- you agree? <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I still don't understand the trading card system. Oh, in... uh, we'll teach you one day. Yeah. It's just so you can get borders on your your uh, profile. It's so stupid. <laughs> so yeah, I'll try and watch this um, where I can, because I wonder if it'll be simulcast anyway, like on Twitch or something. Oh, I don't so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Should, they couldn't just count purely on people to know that it's on TV, could they? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll yeah, see what happens. we'll see. What I happens. am with you. Like I want to see what the production value for this is, because <laughs> if this is the four, first esports game being televised, how much are they putting into this esports game? See, if this is the first big one for a big company like this, I think we'd expect to see something close to at least a college football match. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying like Super Bowl. I'm saying like no, yeah, base yeah. level. Like we we'll get a couple cameras out there. Camera will probably be a bit drunk. <laughs> Just point them at something, and you got it. You're fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see okay. what happens. Mm. Um. So now it's time for our obligatory Blizzard segment of the podcast. <laughs> so Rise of the Necromancer has been announced for a date, which is currently June 28th for us. So 27th for you guys in the states. Um. I have only just recently bought Diablo 3. How recent is recent? Like three weeks. Have you played much of like the story of anything? Or... I'm level 10. Throughout your entire playthrough is just 10. So far, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you get the Reaper of Souls? Yes. Okay, that means you can do the uh, season games that we yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Like... You need to start getting cracking on that I'm, game. I'm, look, I'm going to work <laughs> on it. I've just been playing a lot of other Blizzard games, but... This is making me really excited um, because this ends right... Uh, this launches right as the current uh, Mathael, uh multiplayer thing for HOTS finishes. Yep. So I finish HOTS, get Necromancer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Rise of the Necromancer is the first kind of DLC that we've seen from Blizzard in this kind of fashion. In this fashion? What do you mean? Because normally with Blizzard, you get uh, expansion packs. Yeah. Right? You get... Like you said, um, the oh, I've just forgotten Death. Reaper of Souls. Reaper of Souls. Yes. Which my brain went sh- shroud of death. I'm like, eh, close. Um, you yeah, get yeah. like all of the World of Warcraft expansions. You got Wings of Liberty and and uh, the other two Starcraft yeah. two ones. You never get like like a, just a just a pack like yeah. little thing. You do like Starcraft's had like the solo missions, but this is like a new character that you'd normally get with an expansion. Yeah. Like we got uh, the Crusader. I think was the Last one we got with Reaper of Souls. Mm. So how do you feel about that kind of addition to a game like this? So it's been confirmed that there's no like so added bonuses what, other than the character What in this? you get with it is a non-combat pet, a pair of cosmetic wings, the new Necromancer-themed banner shape, sigil, and accent, mm. Necromancer portrait frame, a pennant, two additional character slots, two additional stash tabs, and the ability to create a Necromancer. That's two additional it. stash tabs? Yes, please. I don't know what that is. I haven't even used my stash. I, oh, yeah. If I look, I'm level ten. If I fill up my items, I'm gonna sell them. <laughs> okay. Jordan say, has no that. idea what's going on. No, this is <laughs> his, his head is me. hanging low in shame. It's like, yeah. oh god, what is this? No, no, no. I'm just trying to comprehend everything. So for for Jordan and the other people that don't know what Diablo is, um, it's a top down action RPG. Mm-hmm. So it's isometric. Yeah. Your favorite my favorite kind of your game. Your favorite uh dimension. Yeah. Uh and it's very dark and gritty and kind of gothic. Okay. Uh like you've got barbarians and uh witch doctors and Demon Hunter. Demon Hunters and now a necromancer. Uh-huh. So each character it, it's it's a character class. Mm-hmm. Does that make Wizard. sense? I'm still naming things. Yes. Mage. <laughs> that's, that's what the wizard thing is, yeah. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Yes, um so when you choose a, a class you Yet you don't really customize the character. Oh, okay. So it's just you go in, you play the story. Yeah. Or in newer expansions, you've got the ability to create a character every season. That's how that competitive scene works, mm. where you create a character that only exists for that season and you have to hit certain check marks as you go to get the most amount of points okay. and stuff. Okay. It's 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 a good game. I love it. I just get distracted from it because mm-hmm. it. Whenever I'm playing it, I see other people playing like Heroes of the Storm or Overwatch or something else. Yeah. And I'm just like, no, that sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as, as you were saying, I, 
I, I do see it very strange that the idea that they're just doing this, just giving one yeah, character. Yeah, I kind of feel a bit, a bit cheated. Well, so do I. So do I. <laughs> they should have waited. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, it, I suppose this is a character that a lot of people have wanted because it's some nod to the original um, Diablo 2. Yeah. To have the uh, necromancer who summons a lot of skeletons and in you go. And I did play a lot of Diablo 2. Exactly. In sense. Um, I, myself, look, it's just the character <laughs> and a lot of these different extra stuff that you said. How like, much? Is, oh, 14. Okay. It's, uh, 50, it's 14.99 USD, so it'd be yeah. around 17 to 20 bucks for us. Yeah. I Everything feel else like that's worth you listed on this thing that my perspective. you get, yeah. along with the character, mm-hmm. doesn't interest me at all. It's all just cosmetic stuff. Mm. Flags, sigils, banners, um, wings and non, non-combat non pet yeah no i'd probably see this this <laughs> would have worked better as like the the pre-order bonus slash collector's edition of reaper of souls yeah like you paid an extra 10 to 20 bucks you get this mm. i i want to see like i just need to see how the necromancer plays and stuff and how fun it would be mm-hmm. to play as that because i know the new season's rolling around shortly i think mm-hmm so of it what... is it's coming out with the next patch okay when's the next patch do you know uh, i don't know when the next pa- i think it is uh the same time as rise of the necromancer okay so that patch adds uh challenge rifts the shrouded moor zone temple of the firstborn zone and the realm of the fate uh, being all free content for anyone that owns reaper of souls Ooh, okay so that's the extra stuff that should have been part of the dlc <laughs> To encourage this purchase. Because that sounds like it's 20 bucks worth, but if I get that for free... Yeah, I don't know. It just seems a bit strange. Interesting idea. Everyone wants it. Everyone will probably get it. Because, you know... Everyone who, who's a big fan of Diablo will probably yeah. damn get this it, thing. It's not for me, because I haven't become bored of the current characters. You have, have you experienced much of the characters? You still I've, you're level 10. I'm so a level 10 you? barbarian. Okay, you started with a good one, yeah? Yeah. Yep, yep. I was barbarian when I first started. Yeah, and that's, that's really... Um, what I expected from the game mm. was to play it first and be like, okay, I'm just going to play this for the story the first time and then I'm going to get jump into the competitives. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't realize until just this moment that my level 10 Barbarian is on the current season. Right, what do you mean? So he's going to disappear. <laughs> oh, you chose season challenge. Immediately, yes. Why? Because I didn't understand what I was doing. Why wouldn't you start... <laughs> Normal single player I story. Don't, I don't know. To know I, the story. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you just start and get your bearing. It's like that uh, the season thing is something where you need to know how what you're doing. Oh, really? Uh, it's more like you get a better advantage when it comes to that type of thing. Because mm-hmm. you know where to go to get like good easy levels and XP, uh, what to do in each challenge. Because mm-hmm. the whole thing with the season, I'm talking to you, Jordan, because you don't understand. I'll just talk to you. Because mm-hmm. yeah. you, you have no idea. Because yeah. I'll. Uh, <laughs> The blank look, blank stare. Yep. Yeah, yeah. The season challenge things they have to do with the season. Yeah. Uh, each challenge they have to do within the game. So defeat this boss on a certain difficulty. Uh, do this certain mission within this certain area of expertise type of thing. Okay. Like some key things that outline what you have to do to go up to the next challenge set of challenges. Yeah. Thank you for saying yes. Yep, yep, yes. Yep. Yes. I think you I'm follow with me. You, you follow me. I, I excellent. Think I'm excellent. With you. Yes. <laughs> got <laughs> Oh god. So, are we making so what do you, what do you think, Jordan? Game? Yeah. What do you think, Jordan? Um, tell us. Tell us a bit of your, or your idea of what everything we just said. Uh, don't buy Diablo three. <laughs> uh, don't don't buy the DLC because it's rip off. Hmm. Um. And be always ready to be prepared to be disappointed by DLC in games, because. We've always learnt that I, very well. Like last year when Infinite Warfare was released and we got Modern Warfare remastered, packaged in. What's wrong with... Before what? we move on from this, I uh, just do want to say one thing. Uh, I love the phrase, uh, always be ready to be prepared to be disappointed. <laughs> that's, that's just gaming in a... You've lost in me a now, just stick down. Yeah. <laughs> Continue on. Okay, so yes. that shoehorn segue brought us to where, Jordan? Um... <laughs> There's speculation that we're going to get Modern Warfare Remastered standalone soon, coming out soon. Isn't that funny? We speculated that when it came out. Yes, we did. <laughs> you can go listen to that. We spent a whole episode discussing this debacle. I think that was yelling more yeah. than discussing. <laughs> I was discussing. You were, you were yelling over my thought of Call of Duty, guys. I, I, yes, yes. <laughs> Picking on me. Oh, God. But uh, yeah, earlier this week, there have been a few reports that Modern Warfare Remastered is finally coming standalone. 
separate from the Infinite Warfare Special Edition, some workers, I put in brackets there. Workers? Because yeah. pres- Are you presuming that people don't work on the game? No, I mean like um, retail workers, people oh, who... Yeah. Um, Did you get this from 4chan again? No, no. Mm-hmm. He's still this this from is, Big W. This is direct from Reddit. <laughs> okay. The most reputable source. Of course, I'm yes. on there every day. Hey, it's better than 4chan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they posted some images online of the game in a PS4 case, including all of the box art and even the shelf labels oh, and all that. Oh, that's... Someone's been fired. Yeah, I know. Well, that's risky if it is real anyway. Because yeah. the release date is listed for June 27. Which That's five days away. Yes. That's so soon. I know. And that they're keeping it prize. How is it yeah, a surprise? I was like, it's going to be like, hey, look, you can go out today and go and get Modern Warfare standalone. That's, hey, that's hey, terrible marketing. That pre-ordered the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit iffy about this. I won't buy it. But yeah, I, <laughs> see, that's my point. Like they waited too long. I might have bought it last year for standalone. But now I've, I don't care anymore. Did they come out this year? Last year. Was it last year? Yeah. Oh, wow. It came with, uh, what was it, Infinite Warfare? Yeah. The whole thing with that. That's bizarre to me. <laughs> but yeah, the price is listed at $39.99 US yep. dollars. So, I don't know, it's probably like 50 here. Mm-hmm. 50 or 60 Australian, I imagine. So, it's a full price game. For, uh, uh, more or less, more or less, I suppose. It's like 50 is a full price game that's discounted down just a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's how I see well, it. Most yeah. games launch at fifty bucks at like um at Target and Oh, if you're lucky. if you're lucky. Most yeah. full game launches they, are probably about sixty nine dollars. Yeah, sixty nine, seventy nine to up to eighty nine. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I I think it's a terrible idea. Really? They've left do- it far too late to do this. Yeah. Because I'd- now they have to compete. Look, it's like they're trying to release Modern Warfare Remastered standalone. To then try and compete against a World War Two game. Yeah, um, Call of Duty coming out this year. Are they competing? <sighs> why would they release? Because why would they compete against their own brand? But it's, it's not their own it's brand. Their it's own a different brand. company. Like, okay, look, it's it's run by Activision, yes. Yeah. But they're different sub companies that are creating it. Like the publishers, Activision, but the creators are developers. Uh, developers, versus publishers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But I I don't think it's the developers making these decisions. Wouldn't it be Activision like the developers make the game. Activision goes, all right, this is what you're releasing with the game. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. This is how we want the release to go. Mm-hmm. But each Call of Duty developer, I see as their own competitors amongst each other. So anything to hinder each other would make them look more profitable, right. which leaves them at a. It, it's it's like a. This Call of Duty did terrible this year, yep. but this company did really well last year. Let's wait back, not buy this uh, game company's Call of Duty. Yep. Yeah, and wait for that once because they did much better. Yeah, Even- which has been the Black Ops argument for a few years. Yes. Yeah, so be- okay. a lot of people just went for Black Ops or just Modern Warfare and ignored the others. Yeah. Yes. Which I just ignored them all, but <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I my, bro- my brother was the same. I-, I learned about this stuff through Osmosis, and yeah, they- he was a big fan of the Black Ops and only played Black Ops. Yeah. Yeah, it-, it was the whole thing with Black Ops. So when Black Ops Two released, everyone loved it. Uh, when the next Call of Duty release, which was, I think, Call of Duty Ghosts. Oh, yeah. I forgot um, about that. People played it, but no one liked it. Yeah. So <laughs> everyone went back to Black Ops 2. So it's the yep. whole thing. Like, you, if you've released Ghosts, you kind of have a name as in like, okay, they did Ghosts. Okay, that's a bit iffy on that one. Yeah. But if you have things like, uh, for me, it's, if it's Modern Warfare 2, the creators of that one, which is um, Activision. Mm. Um, no, Activision. Uh, Infinity Ward, Infinity Ward. Yeah. So I just look, I just look at it and go, yeah, they did pretty good at this. I'll give that game a go. Yeah. So that's so Call of Duty for me. They left it too late. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. More they, they, Activision too haven't commented on anything, so I'm guessing. Ah, uh, that was weird. Uh. <laughs> um, so Activision are going either going to surprise us really, or someone's just really good at Photoshop. See, I'm, I'm going to uh, go with fake on this one. You're going to go with fake? Yeah. And we'll yeah. find out next week, but I yeah. feel like that's a bit fake. Because it it's just a bit soon. I think the, the date's no. wrong. I I'm think a- it's a bit I think it's a bit too late. Oh, yeah. I know. It's too late for the game, but oh, it's yeah. too soon with no marketing whatsoever. No. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It's, if, if they're going to release this- shot. Like, if they release that on the day and their marketing says, okay, guys, you can buy it now today. Yeah. That's their only marketing. They're going to lose a lot of sales just from that. Yeah. Actually, I think that the opposite might happen. I think really? people would go insane. 
No way. Yeah. It, I, I think it depends on the game. I don't think it will work for this game. I think the ship no. has sailed on one Warfare. If it, if it was like three months after the release of the original. Yeah. Yes. The first time, like, or even even a month. Just, hey, you you guys have all got this. Now everyone gets it. But no. I think a month would really annoy the pre-order. A month would really yeah. destroy everyone. Because there's like your only chance to get Modern Warfare Remastered was to get this game yeah. with Infinite Warfare. Don't worry, guys. We'll release it in a month. Yeah. But yeah, that's the whole thing. Maybe that's why they didn't advertise it. So it's you don't think they're going to advertise people. it now until then? Yeah, this would be yeah, a reason. Just, I'm just going to go into the shops on June 27. Let's say it's probably next Thursday or There's Tuesday. There's no advertisement at all. It's just and on the shelf. Sure. Yeah, and it's just going to be there. <laughs> if it is, please put a photo up on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to check. That is next Tuesday. I'm going to go to the store and check this if we do not get any word from Activision whatsoever. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. You give us an update on that. Yeah. Um, right before we move on to what we're talking about next, mm-hmm. um, I was just browsing Reddit as I do when I'm not <laughs> interested in Call of Duty. Um, <laughs> My heart is a broken. New, there's a new Jackie Chan film. What? From the director of Christina Royale. Oh, is that the one with um, Pierce Brosnan as well? I think so. I actually want to watch that. because the those, Foreigner. Those are two classic action actors right there. Yes. Yeah. And them hand in hand would be very interesting. Especially if Jackie Chan keeps his like uh, comedy action. Yeah, but they're so does. old now. This is what I'm like. I like, don't know. Age no, no, does not that, matter. I don't mean that it's an insult. I just mean like... He's not going to be doing flips. If, no. If he's, he's not going to do his own stunts. It's going to be like... um. More timid than the Karate Kid. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see yeah. what happens. Anyway, you, you I just said, thought that said be three things to me. You said what? Creators of what? Casino Royale. Casino Royale. And then Jackie Chan, and then Pierce Brosnan. Pierce yes. Brosnan. That's that's all for me. Yeah, Pierce Brosnan bonds will always be my bond. Yes, because uh, you grew up with Pierce Brosnan, I suppose. Yes. Yeah. See, I grew up with Jackie Chan films, so I'm really excited. yes, Jackie Chan. I, <laughs> yes, Jackie Chan films are great. Yes, I, I love the Jackie Chan cartoon. I don't know if you ever watched that. I watched. I still have. So, I, um, did you get the the, is the collectors? The, I have the tin still. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was, was, was this the thing. cartoon with the medallions where they get yeah. special? Yes. Yeah. And then you go to the news agents every week and you get the new medallion. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I think I I don't know where my tin is, but I know my brother has his line around somewhere. I, ha- so. I have my tin and I just keep like uh, uh, spare loosely. Speaking of, that actually goes, I've actually got a Pierce Brosnan one as well for Bond. Really? Or, really? Or no, the Bonds, you know, you used to do the Bond magazines. Yeah, yeah. And they used to do it where you get a different Bond car with each yeah. magazine. I don't have that, but... I, used, I had a few of them. Did you see day. that they're doing the, the die-cast DeLorean as what? a magazine pack? When? Starting. <laughs> uh, I saw it advertised like two to three days ago. <sighs> but it's like... These, the these things like rip the you bumper. off, man. It's like $5 a magazine. And, you know, they just churn those magazines out. And it's like $300 for the yeah. die-cast model and yeah. some paper. It's hilarious. <laughs> you got to wait months and months and months for Anyway, yep. that was an interesting tangent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's good. Jackie Chan and bitches. Yeah. We gotta watch that. I want to watch that now. Yeah. So have we got anything else to say? No, I'm good. Nah, that, that's, that's that's all we got planned for tonight. And it's going pretty good on time too. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, excellent. Thanks everyone for listening to the Replay Podcast. Remember, you can follow us on our Twitter, which is at ReplayAU, or our individual Twitter accounts, which mine is at Joel's Voice. Mine's at NimbleMimble, and I'm that on everything. I'm everything. at Jordan Do Things. All, all the social medias, all the, all yep. the, yeah. Um, and remember, you can go to our iTunes page and leave a comment. Comments help. Yeah. To see how we're doing. Let Rating. Us know if you like us. On iTunes, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I'd like. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Rate and comment is good. I like yeah. this. Well, if you'd like to join us in our fabulous community, thanks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> in video game antics, make sure you find our Discord links to which can be found on our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Um. Did we want to talk about the quiz and stuff? Just, just to throw yeah. it at the end. So next week will be our quiz, which yes. we do at the end of every month. So last month, Jordan lost and we issued him the punishment of installing League of Legends and winning 10 games. <laughs> which he still can do. He still can do in a week. It's not that difficult. It's not likely. It's but not likely. probably not. They're, they're so we're going to change things up a bit this coming month. Mm. So instead of it being a punishment, it's a challenge. And instead of it being negative points if you don't do it, it's positive points yes. if you do do it. <laughs> Give us something to work towards. Yes. <laughs> so that's what I want. So what I've done is I've I've chosen two challenges, one of which is a achievement or trophy, and the other is a grinding challenge. And then you each have issued the other person another challenge on top of that. Yes. So there's three things you can do per person. Now, 
I was going to open it up to the audience. If you guys are okay with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. fine. All right. So this is only if I receive twi- uh, tweets at Nimble Mimble of these. Okay. So for Joel's, I want either the sneaky trophy, which is for Neon Chrome. Mm-hmm. So that's a silver trophy that relies on him uh, beating a level, a difficult level without being seen. We'll mention that these games that you're choosing now are ones that are free yes. for our respective consoles. So console. they're free at the moment. So if you mm-hmm. if you can beat Joel at his challenge, please do so and show us because <laughs> that would be amazing. So that's his first challenge. His second challenge is to win three games of Heroes of the Storm with three separate characters, not using talents at all during those games. Oh, boy. So if, you, oh if you're boy. familiar with uh, Heroes of the Storm or MOBAs in general, it'd be like if you only leveled up one point in each of your uh, Q, W, and E in League. Do I get no R either? No. You don't get to put oh. a talent to anything. Oh. So no, no ultimates, no bonuses, just everything is exactly as it is when you when you load up the game. I should specify, you said these games are free, but we're going off games that are free and all games that you already own. Yes. Is that... I, I think we're going off first of what games that so are that, free for the month, as in yep. your subscription for yes. Xbox yep. and PlayStation. So yep. the trophy challenge and the uh, the gamer score challenge are both on the free games for this month. Yes. The current month. The next one is the the um, grinding challenge or the, the gameplay challenge for games we know you own. Yep. And then the third one is the one you've issued each other. Which, yep. are, again, are games that we both know that we own. Yes. Well, I can give you a list of all the games I own if you like. That's right. I already got my challenge there. Okay. It's, it's all right. Point. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, you can issue something that's in Uncharted or Last of Us or yeah. something yeah. PlayStation yeah. exclusive. Like, when yeah. uh, Russian Clay, uh, not Russian Clay, um, Crash Bandicoot comes out, I'd have to smash through all of every single Platinum level. trophy in less yeah. than 20 hours. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so, Joel's third challenge is to get five holes in one on the first course in normal settings. What in, game in is this for? Golf with friends. Golf, golf with, with friends. friends. Yes. Okay. This means I can't use so, jump. I can't like slow down the ball or speed it up or anything. It's just yep. straight normal. Is that collision on normal as well? I think so. No. 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 Okay. There's, no. There's no okay. collision. Yeah. So remember, do, then what are you going to screw so me over to, if I do So it? if you lose next week, you get to choose between one of those. Or if the viewers, uh, listeners vote. Yes. Their vote will overrule yours. Yeah. I would also like to hear what the viewers or listeners put challenges for yeah, us. Yeah, please as well. do issue yeah. challenges. So yeah. for Joel's then challenge, we can add them to a little bank and we'll bring them out. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that sounds good. That yeah. sounds like good. any PlayStation challenge, I'll give it a go. And yeah. 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 So Joel's challenges are the sneaky trophy in neon chrome, three wins in hots with no talents, and five holes in one in golf with friends. So let us know which one of those you want Joel yep. to do. For me, at nimble mimble or at replay you. Uh, for Jordan, he needs to get Sultan of Swing, which is a 100G achievement in speedrunners for the Xbox. Jesus. So he can't touch the ground for 15 seconds. It's 100G a lot. 100G is the max you can get one achievement, right? No, no I think I've seen a little bit more. Not okay. much. I've seen 250. Okay. Oh, no, well. I've seen 400, actually. Oh. Jeez, what game is that? That's the Avatar The Last oh, Airbender. No. <laughs> that doesn't count as a game. That's not a game. <laughs> um, so his, his second challenge was in uh, Player Unknown's Battleground to reach. Uh, first playing solo. Yep. So he has to he has to win playing by himself. Yep, that was my challenge to you. Which mm-hmm. is which is not a bad challenge. Uh, and then my final challenge is for him to get the highest damage or gold medal for highest damage with Zarya on Xbox. Because he knows I don't play Zarya much at all. Or ah, Xbox. Ah, right. Yeah. Yes. So that is. I think his it's challenge. doable with Zarya. That's the easiest it's just... challenge out of all of them, though. Is it though? Again, it's like you're, you. I remember you if saying. If I go into quick play or something. If you go into quick play or something, um, you let people hit your shield, gain that damage up, then you just go in with the most damage on yeah. your team. But he's got to have. He's he's going to be playing with Genjis and and Hanzo and stuff. Is like it that all you see on Xbox? It can, Mostly, it, yeah. can be, it can be a little bit rough. On think. quick play, quick play. See, so he can I, play I this ranked or quick play, so it's up to him. He's not going to play ranked. There's no way you're going to play ranked with. <laughs> it depends. It depends. Maybe off. Depends if we're off. playing with him. And then I'll make sure I choose Genji. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yes, yeah, so those are the three challenges for Jordan. So, yep. Sultan of Swing on speedrunners, uh, finishing first in Player Unknown's Battleground, or getting the highest g- damage gold medal with Zarya on his Xbox. Yeah. Best of luck to you. Yeah. Yes. So, let us know what best, you think. Otherwise, you, hmm. it'll be your own choice next week. So, if, you don't, <laughs> if no one tweets me or, or sends me any messages. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. And I think I know which one you're going to choose. This is only if we lose, lose the quiz, right? Yes. yes. So if you lose the quiz, down, you get the challenge. And I think I think as well, this is this is just another thing that I... Up in the air. I think if 
no matter what happens, if the other person completes a challenge as well, they also get a point. Okay, so they can mm. even it out if they Yeah. Want. Okay. If they wanted to, okay, yeah. yeah. So I need screenshots of proof for any of these. Okay. On the day. Yeah. On the d- yeah, Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. So you'll have a week to do this. A week? A do you month. reckon a week or a month? I thought a month was what I thought was a month saying. would be the full thing. All right, we'll go yeah. a month. Okay. All right, excellent. Fantastic. Cool. That's awesome. that. Thank so, you all so much for listening. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll see you next week for episode 40. Episode 40. Mine. We're getting old. We are getting old. <laughs>